Hello everyone, I am Suhail Oprafi, the team leader of Bank of Mongolia. Welcoming you to our SI video for ERC 2022. We are 14 undergraduate students from Bank University working on building this Mars rover. We are divided into nine sub teams, which are design, mechanical, electronics, network, control, autonomous, science, research, and management. We have designed an arm that can rotate 360 degrees with 60 degrees of freedom with the help of a warm gear mechanism. The stainless steel chassis is strong, lightweight, and modified rocker body suspension helps to traverse through rocky terrain. For a height adjustment, a bending mechanism is applied to the omnidirectional antenna. The three finger claw in our arm improves the gripping and precision. A custom made drill machine under the wrist helps break down top soil. We are planning to use jute fiber on the wheel surface to increase traction as the rover travels through rocky plateau. We are also planning to implement a custom double sided linear actuator with a custom made planetary gearbox for a modified extender to help the rover climb steep slope. Are adequate for carrying out extreme retrieval and delivery mission. The suspension system is capable of absorbing unexpected jolts while crossing rocky terrain. The rover's expandable body helps it to maintain its stability during vertical drops. The robust arm can lift large things like toolboxes and other equipment without any difficulties. We have trained an artificial intelligence model for common mechanical tools classification, such as hammers, screwdrivers, pliers, etc. We have created our own data by collecting the images of different mechanical tools available in our lab in different environments. The new three-finger claw helps us to grip with greater control and precision, which has substantially improved our performance during the equipment servicing task. We have created a mock setup to test our system for the mission. Feedback actuators have been added for accuracy in movement, and the required angle is obtained for inverse kinematics algorithms. In the equipment servicing mission, our artificial intelligence system assists the astronaut by detecting rocket lander elements such as toggle switch, joystick, keyboard, first aid box, etc. and instructing the driver for the mission accordingly. We have divided our entire electronic system into different parts having different purposes. We have a power management board for controlling and maintaining the rover's power distribution from the primary source. The power line uses a kill switch mechanism and passes through a protection MOSFET. The main PCV controls all the wheels and actuators in the robotic arm. Dual channel monster motor driver is being used to control the arm and side turn motor driver for wheels. Lastly, our debugging circuit helps to debug the problems on the PCV on board. This year, we have separated our communication system into two independent entities. A peer-to-peer -peer network architecture using two high-end 2.4 GHz routers has been used for seamless data transmission. Rocket M2 has been used at the base station in addition to a directional sector antenna. We utilized a 2.4 GHz omnidirectional antenna together with a ubiquity bullet M2 router to achieve up to 360 degree signal coverage and more than 1 km smooth rover. For a compact network system, we have used a PV network switch this year to link the rover's competing unit to the router, which allows for flawless data connection between the base station and the rover. For for vision, IP cameras are being strategically placed throughout the rover. A parallel analog FPV 5.8 GHz technology has been used for dealing with latencies. This year, we have shifted our rover to robot operating system, in short, ROS. This helped the control of the rover to be more efficient. We have operated the joypad in our control system to control the rover more smoothly. For the lower level signal processing of the rover, we have used Arduino Mega. And for the higher level processing, we have used Raspberry Pi 4B to control the full rover. Our science model is an automated onboard laboratory. It has two parts, soil analysis and atmospheric analysis. Our soil testing box spontaneously performs biomass, amino acids, starch, and water capillary tests. These also allow us to search for biosignatures, which could tell us if life ever existed on Mars. We have used two probes that provide us with NPK temperature, moisture, and pH data from the soil samples using Modbus communication. For atmospheric analysis, we record data of different elements of the atmosphere. A graphical user interface is designed for scientific data analysis. We use the server-based Pantil FPV camera to process images and transform them into a panoramic image. We have developed an artificial intelligence system for Martian rock classification and a weather forecasting system for the Martian atmosphere. For our autonomous navigation system, for the very first time, our system design consists of an RTK GPS for implementing differential geniuses and an axis IMU to capture data of the rover's movement up to the web points. For detecting the air attacks, we have used the specific dictionary of the OpenCV Arco library as per the requirements. The USB camera that we have used performs really well for our purpose. We use the truly light for obstacle evidence and mapping the surrounding environment, and NVIDIA Jetson managed for processing. Data. For digital estimation of air tags, we are using OpenCV. We have calibrated the camera by placing the tags at different distances from the camera and noted the measurements after calculating the distances between the starting and the ending points. Later, plotting the results in the y axis and the distances in the x axis in the excel sheet, we got our desired equation, which resembles a third degree polylogal equation. Afterwards, we used the equation in our curve to find out the desired distance. 
We have used the yellow V-frame object detection algorithm for error identification. It frames object detection as regression problem to specially separated boundary boxes and associated class probabilities. We have trained our datasets in different classes and it detects class probabilities directly from full images in one evaluation. Our unified architecture is extremely fast and processes images in real time up to 45 frames per second.